haircut. Mark's not getting his done this time. It's 27 centigrade wall to wall blue sky apart from those clouds in the distance. I don't know who they belong to. <clears throat> I don't think they're planning to come here. won't give us a time that he's arriving. I might try and pin him down on Monday. But we think the best place to contain her is in the coop because she often walks in there in the morning to nibble at some of the chicken food so I might go down and let the chickens out late and then um, let her follow go in, put some corn down so she hears me do that and then close her in so she'll have to be in there for a few hours so can't think of any other way. And then he has to go in and capture her, which is always interesting. <laughs> Quite energetic. But then he's used to doing them hundreds at a time. He no, said to me it. when he left me the message last night he'd done nine and a half thousand sheep. He didn't say in what time frame. <laughs> so. So Ida is nothing, it's just containing her is the issue, is capturing her. I mean the other sheep will have been rounded up by a farmer and be in a, you know, kept easy access. Um, if Ida is not contained, you can't catch her, you know, it's the whole garden and you've seen how fast she can run. But she will need it by... Monday and we've got this hot weather so she's going to be really hot we've got cold weather coming back in on Friday, I'm not sure how long it's going to last but um, Monday is practically the end, is it the end of June? It's the 1st of July, so it's a very late shearing for her but the weather's not been conducive so What is it midday? It's lunchtime. We're on the road and it's French lunchtime. We've had to have early lunch. My appointment is one o'clock. It takes over an hour to get there. better roads than these but this is like a straight it's like in the right direction and it just goes across country and is more direct but it's um it's quite lumpy and bendy and but in some parts of it you can get quite a speed up found a book on my Kindle that is still on there because sometimes if you go back to read a book on your Kindle that you want to read it's been archived and it has to be re-downloaded. <clears throat> the book I wanted to read is, is called The Mandibles and uh, it starts in, it's a futuristic book starting in 2029 
not so futuristic nowadays, I suppose. Um, but I read it before, and, and I was able to open it to begin this morning, so I'm quite pleased about that. I wonder whether some of the people that go on about the Great Reset have based their prophecy around a fictional book. Because this is um, about the world being turned upside down and just reached the point very early on where the money market's about to collapse and money is not going to be worth anything and water is very limited and food is incredibly expensive and very limited so but it and it you know some of what's written in the book is is being played out now but uh, but I, but for me it's that I don't think that any one person or three people said oh I know let's do this I just think it's happening and has happened it's not a deliberate act it's um I think it's an act of neglect, if anything, of those that are able to make decisions on behalf of the rest of the world, country and whatever. I think it's neglect that brings us to some of these points, not conspiracy. I don't think anybody's intelligent enough to conspire in that way. So there. It's a cinema down there. Small one. Well, this is where my other hairdresser used to live before she moved back to Taunton. Quite a lot of English live here in La Trumwe. to um, stop at the loo please right. it wasn't open last time was it um, I don't think it was no, no, no. Do. well let's hope it is this time yeah it's closed closed? yep Lizzie has been sharing that's taken over, or, or maybe it isn't. That doesn't look very open, does it? I thought it was there. I don't know what's going on there.
speed limit on this road is 90. My heart's doing, it was doing 100 then. I used to roll along here at 100. It's uh, quite quick, really. Don't think we'll be doing 100 when we get to this lorry. Well, I hope not. Southwest France, if not, if not all of France, or on one on the last Monday of the month. Unless that's a ferry a day, I can't remember which way round it is. We used to go there. We went two or three times. God, blimey, that was moving around there. But um, it's quite it's quite hard work now for us. Well, for me, well, and for Mark as well. The walking around, the wandering. We thought about going over and getting chickens from there. They have a big poultry market there but you will have seen Pete and Anna there um, oh I don't know probably two years ago when I thought she'd got Covid and they shouldn't have been out but they went to Les Um but yeah it's not somewhere we go now Slow down. Look, you know, sort of, he was, because he, I stopped, he stopped, and he sort of made some sort of, you know, gesture of, oh, God, sorry, in French. So it was, mon dieu, désolé, but, in, you know. And I did that French, what the, f you know, with my shoulders and my arms up, as if to say, what the hell are you doing? I think we understood each other. Yeah. Am I going to stop here? Hope you enjoyed the journey, those that like the road trips. 